Hey, happy Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. I can barely contain my excitement for this one this morning. We have got back our work by Otto Weber. Now, for those of you that don't know, we did put some posts out a long time ago now, but we rescued this painting from Germany and the frame was extensively damaged and the painting itself needed some work. So we've thus since had our painting restored, completely cleaned and revarnished, and we've added a rather magnificent frame. We've got it back yesterday. So I'm extremely excited because it's one of my all time favorites. And I know some of you guys have really loved the Otto Weber painting. So without further ado, stay with me. I am on edge, but let's go for it. Okay, so. Okay, so, bear with me ladies and gentlemen, it is worth the reveal, I promise. One beautiful corner, the painting of course, the frame is resembled, it's modern, but a beautiful print and frame to accentuate the Victorian nature of it. They're not beautiful already, it's not Gosh. I think Tom Keating once said, and I watched this on one of his programmes when I was a younger man, they say you treat every painting as if it were a Rembrandt, regardless. And it really is something that stuck with me. So we paused it there just so you didn't have to suffer the sort of the horrible <laughs> me taking off the plastic bubble wrap. But as you can clearly see, why I'm completely enamoured with this painting. So a little bit of background and context on the artist Otto Weber. So Otto Weber is, as you can clearly see, we're dealing with an extremely gifted draftsman. The anatomy of the painting, the composition is absolutely superb. The anatomy of the spaniel is absolutely fantastic. As you can click, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm sorry I'm saying absolutely, but it's just because I'm so passionate about this painting. As you can clearly see, we have it signed in the right bottom right hand corner by Otto Weber. Otto Weber was a favourite with the royals during Victoria's reign. He came across from Germany to paint equestrian scenes, hunting scenes, landscapes at the personal request of Queen Victoria. There are some of his works within the Royal Family Collection now. They, in particularly in Windsor Boot Room, there is uh, a painting of two Yorkshire Terriers, which is again done absolutely beautifully. Otto Weber, a particular rare, rare scene for him. I think it's difficult to get great works by him now, they're usually in private collections. As you can see, I think the frame complements it beautifully. It's had some fantastic restoration and I really want to enjoy it. Okay, as you can clearly see, I'm ridiculously happy with it. I think the restorer's done jolly good work, as has the Frint and Framing Company. This is up for sale um, on our website. If you want any further information, please don't hesitate to call me and enjoy the video. Okay, have a really good Sunday. Bye bye.